In this video, we're going to start the worksheet adding positive and negative numbers. It's actually listed as adding rational numbers on the CUDA software website. But when you open up that link, it's adding positive and negative numbers. So I'll leave the link in the description below. So our instructions on this worksheet are to find each sum. Looking at number one, we have a negative seven plus a positive nine. So think of this as starting at negative seven on a number line and moving to the right nine units. If we start at negative seven and move to the right, we're eventually going to get at a positive two because we'll have negative seven, negative six, negative five, negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, so we're at zero right now and we went over one, two, three, four, five, six, a positive seven. So we have two more to get to nine. So we're at zero, one, two. So that's our positive nine. And the point we landed at is two from negative seven. So let's go ahead and move on to number two. And number two, we have a negative number added to another negative number. So instead of moving to the right, when we add that other negative number, we're going to move to the left. So if we're at negative eight on a number line, we're going to move negative one, and that's gonna land us at negative nine. So negative eight plus negative one gives us negative nine. So it's helpful for these problems, especially in the beginning, to use a number line until you get more familiar with the concept of adding negatives to negatives and negatives to positives. So here in number three, just as in number one, we're gonna start with a negative and we're gonna add a positive. So starting at negative one, we're going to move to the right five on the number line. So negative one plus five is eventually going to give us a positive four. And I'll draw this out real quickly again. Here's zero, here's negative one. We're going to go over one, two, three, four, five. Where we land is going to be zero, one, two, three. This is four on the number line. Number four, says negative six plus 12. Negative six, moving over 12, is going to give us a positive six. Number five, we have negative eight and we're adding a negative five. So we're gonna start at negative eight on the number line and we're going to move to the left five more units. So it will be a negative 13. 6 is going to be 11 plus negative 2. So we're starting at a positive value and we're going to move to the left. So we're actually decreasing on the number line. So starting at 11, moving 2 to the left will be 10, 9. So 11 plus negative 2 will give us 9. Another way you can think of number 6 think when you're adding a negative, you're really subtracting that positive. So you could rewrite this as 11 minus two. And we know that 11 minus two is nine. For seven, we can do the same thing. We can rewrite this as 49 minus 15 because we know we're going 15 to the left, so we're subtracting that 15. 49 minus 15 is going to give us a positive 34. Now number eight, we're starting with the negative and going to the right. So starting at negative 47 and going to the right, 30 steps, that's going to end us at a negative number because the absolute value of 47, so the distance from zero on a number line is 47 units, and the distance from zero on a number line to 30 
is 30 units. We're still going to remain negative because the absolute value of negative 47 is greater than that 30. So we're 47 units to the left of 0, but we're moving 30 units closer back to 0, but we're not quite at 0 yet, so we're still negative. And you can think of that negative 47 moving to the right 30, we're still going to have a negative 17. So we're still going to be 17 units to the left of 0. Here we have 49 minus 27, because when we add a negative, we're really subtracting that positive, and that's going to give us a positive 22. Here we have negative 29 plus 9. So we have a negative number, but we're moving to the right on the number line. So that's going to end us at a negative 20. So we're 29 units to the left of 0. We're moving 9 units closer to 0, so 9 units to the right. But we're still at a negative, and that's going to be negative 20. For number 11, we have 43 plus negative 1. That's the same as writing 43 minus 1, which is going to give us positive 42. Now number 12, we have three different numbers. We have 10 plus a negative 2 plus a 1. The order in which we do this doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and do 10 plus negative 2 first. 10 plus negative 2 is the same as 10 minus 2. So that's going to be 8, and we're going to be left with plus 1 to give us a positive 9. For number 13, let's do negative 2 plus 4 first, just to mix it up. Negative 2, so we're starting at the left, we're adding 4, so we're going to go past that 0 by 2 units. So we're at a positive 2 now, and we have 11 still to add, so 2 plus 11 is 13. Number 14 is 12 plus 7. That's going to bring us to a positive 19, and we have plus negative 4, which is the same as saying 19 minus 4, and that's going to leave us with a positive 15. 15, so negative 7 plus 3, we're moving to the right, but we're still in the negatives. So we're going to have a negative 4 plus 9, and that's going to give us a positive 5. For 16, we have negative 1 plus 11, so that's going to be a positive 10. And we're going to have to add 5 to give us a positive 15. Moving on to the second page. For 17, we have 2 plus 10. So let's go ahead and do that to get 12. And let's go ahead and add negative 10 to a positive 10. Think about this. Right now on the number line, we're at 10 to the left for this quantity. But we're moving 10 to the right. So that's going to put us at 0. So 12 plus 0 is 12 for number 17. Number 18, we have 10 plus a negative 11. That's going to leave us at negative 1. That's like saying 10 minus 11, which puts us past 0 at a negative 1. And then we have plus 5 and plus a negative 5. Let's go ahead and do this 5 plus negative 5 next. So we're going to have negative 1 plus 5 plus a negative 5 is the same thing as saying 5 minus 5. 5 minus 5 is going to give us 0. So negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1. 19 says 2 plus 6 plus negative 7 plus 10. 2 plus 6 is going to bring us to 8. 8 plus negative 7 is the same as saying 8 minus 7, so we're going to be left with a positive 1 plus 10, and that's going to give us a positive 11. And finally, on to number 20, which will be the last problem we'll complete in this video. Negative 5 plus a negative 8. That is going to give us a negative 13.
You can also think of this as 5 plus 8, but they're both negative. So 5 plus 8 is 13, but both of them being negative will still remain negative. So negative 13, and then we're going to add a negative 2 and add a 1. Let's go ahead and do negative 13 plus negative 2. So again, both these quantities are negative, so we know that when we add them, we're only going further into the negative numbers, so further to the left on that number line. And since they're both negative, let's just go ahead and add the 2 and the 13 together to get 15, but remember that 15 is negative. So you're starting at negative 13 and moving 2 to the left to get to negative 15. And then we're left with plus 1, so negative 15 plus 1, so moving from a negative 15 to the right one unit, we're going to land on negative 14. So I'm going to stop the video here. And if you're confused on adding negative numbers, please see one of my tutorial videos. I explain how to add negative numbers more in depth. In the next video, we'll do numbers 21 through 28, and that deals with adding negative decimal numbers. And then from there, the third video will be 29 through 34, which deals with adding negative fractions. So remember to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get updates when I post the next video.